Hello everybody, welcome back for some more God of War 2. In the last episode we took out two of the three of the Sisters of Fate. And now we have one more to go. This all, or the all-consuming struggle between the Titans and the Olympus, Olympians rages on. It's just a little portrait, that's all it is. What's this one? Alone Souls surveys the wake of carnage that surrounds him. Well, I don't know exactly who that soul would be unless it's Kratos. Three travelers heading to an unknown destiny. Hmm. Wait a minute. Could that... I don't know, like, could that maybe represent, like, different... Like, uh, mythologies or maybe even religions or something of the sort? I don't know, I'm getting that kind of vibe, but... I'm probably completely wrong about that. But it, that reminds me of the three wise men, pretty much. Those three people that were going to the light, or the mysterious object in the sky or something. I don't know, it just... It seems like that's what it would be, but I... I'm not exactly too, like... You know, into, like, Greek mythology, so maybe it has something to do with Greek mythology. If somebody would like to, you know, point out or maybe correct me on that, then... Feel free to do so in the comments, of course, because... You know, that's where, that's technically the only place you can really get a hold of me. Well, that's the best way to get a hold of me at is, obviously, the comments. So that's, that's like a thousand a pack right there. They're giving us quite a bit of orbs in these chests now. Mainly because we don't have any Gorgonais or Phoenix Feathers to collect anymore. We don't have any more urns to collect. Well, you have to collect the urns in a specific location anyway. There's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. You need to collect them at that certain time. Alright, let's go ahead and get these. Don't worry, there's still going to be plenty more of action coming. Don't worry about that, folks. Oh, damn, that was a pretty good shot right there. Alright. Ooh. Like I said before, if, if, you're, if you're a fan of boobs, you're going to love this woman. Look at them fucking bazungas. Like, Jesus Christ almighty, lady. She is huge, yes. Now, for the longest time, I thought these were cobwebs. But I don't think they are cobwebs. I think they're actually just string. String with the um, the whole, you know, changing your fate thing. And if you guys played God of War 2 before, you'll you'll know what's coming up pretty soon. But if you haven't, well, I don't I don't I don't exactly want to spoil it, so I'm not gonna do that. I want to. Damn it, he asshole. Well, I mean, at least it kept him, you know, kind of stunned for a while there. So let's go ahead and use our rage mode on these guys because there's really no point in having to worry about them. Let's cut these assholes up. Go ahead and hold down the block button and unleash my tornado of devastation. Alright, let's grab him and kill him off. There we go. Ooh, we got them both in the circle. That was pretty good. Alright. So it's pretty much all starting to kind of boil down to this. We're getting pretty damn close to being done with this game. I may or may not finish this game today. Who knows? I, I mean, I would love to, of course. Not because, you know, this game needs to be done now. It's just like... I'm so close, why not just finish it? That's usually what I do with Let's Plays now. It's like, if I'm just so damn close, and if I really like the game enough, I'll just do more videos. If I didn't like this game at all, why would I be doing more than, like, two videos of it? Why would I even be playing the game at all? I mean, well, granted, you know, there was Jack 2. I mean, yeah, Jack 2, I like, to a, to an extent. There's there's some parts in that game that just piss me off. There's some, you know, sometimes playing that game's fun, but man, does it get on my nerves sometimes. All right. Let's tell that jackass, and as you can tell, basically, um, you are, there's really no, like, super time limit or anything, but these walls would start to kind of close off, and it's basically just, just one giant ass. Let's go through this thing and try to take them all out at once. Alright, so what was that L2 circle thing? Anyway, that. That's what a basic shot does. Now, if we were to charge it up, if I'm correct, I think it wastes all your magic. So, I'm not going to use that just yet. Well, yeah, I'm going to wait until I grab this. Or, actually, better yet. No, well, we can't do it now. Okay, let's just try it in the air. Nope, I, I still don't have enough. I don't have enough magic to even work with it. Yeah, I think you need to have full magic in order to use it. So, yes, I believe so. I think it's just like a one, one big deal and you just like kind of wipe out the entire field pretty much. All right, let's go ahead and grab her and get some magic out of her. That way, you know, we can go ahead and start using Nurel's um, head. I wonder, well, 
Medusa's gaze never worked on a Medusa before, so... Well, it never worked on the Gorgons. Even though she was technically... A, well... She is the Queen Gorgon, pretty much. And Uriel is her sister. You would think... Maybe you could probably, you know... Use her own head on herself. Or use her, her, her head... Particularly on, you know... Other Gorgons, per se. But... Oh, they got one for me. Nice. Yeah, you can use them to your advantage. Yes. You can. You don't have to do it, but that, that is an option there. Uh, let's try and do the hold circle now. That's what it... Okay, it doesn't waste all your magic. So I was wrong. All right. Well, I, I particularly remember there was a game where you have to, like, hold down the entire thing and it, it actually wastes all your magic. Or whatever the equipment was. I, I might be thinking of, like, a whole different game right now. Who knows? All right, bitch. You're going down! Slam a hammer, hammer slam. Ah, fuck. Jam a slammer. What's that? What? How's it go? Something like that. I don't know. The boom crew. It's fucking retarded. <laughs> That's not where it's from. I don't think. Well, I hope not. How do I know about that cartoon? Um, what well, is a guy I watch called Mis the mysterious mist, the mysterious Mister Inner on YouTube? He's he's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. Go check him out. He's He's got some entertaining videos to go watch, so... I'm just gonna give him a recommendation right now, you know. I'm not gonna worry about getting my Rage Mode, because... Magic can't come back, but my Rage Arts can, so... Rage Arts? Pfft, that's not what I meant to say. Well, I meant to say it, but I didn't mean like that. Alright, there we go. Ooh! Ooh! Wipe the floor with these guys. There you go. That takes care of them. I'm gonna leave it there for a few minutes. I'm gonna come back and get it later when I get a chance. Oh yeah, you need to be stoned. Yeah, you are an ex you're an exception to my rule right now of trying not to waste my magic on pathetic enemies. But you guys are pathetic enough. There we go. Oh, come on! No! Needs to die. Needs to die. There we go. Alright, we got him killed off. I'm going to try to save it up one more time. I'm going to try to... There we go. Again, if the light... If the light fixture is blue when you're using your rail's head on an enemy... That indicates that you can stone them. Well, actually, in this game... Well, that's how it was in the first game, I should say. Instead, in this game, there is no, like, red light. Well, okay, back in the first one... If you if, if the game said, like, you didn't have enough... If you didn't have enough... Fucking... Stuttering! God damn. If... You... If you didn't have enough magic, the game would tell you... When you're trying to freeze an enemy... By indicating it with a red light above them. So, that light, whenever you lock onto an enemy, that's blue? Yeah, that would be red. Well, anyway, if you had enough magic, like like that, it would be blue. But in this case, for some strange, odd, stupid reason, the developers decided to take that out. I guess they just expect you just to hopefully fuck up and not know exactly what the hell you're doing. But, fortunately for us, we have a professional God of War player on our hands playing God of War right now. God damn, oh, motherfucker. Yeah, I need to go get that magic box, don't I? Well, I was hoping I didn't have to worry about it for a while, but satires, or satyrs, oh god, they suck ass. They suck big ass. Luckily, that counterattack that uh, these guys do isn't damaging enough to hurt me or anything like that. So I don't need to really necessarily watch out for, you know, hitting them too much when they're trying to block. I mean, yeah, granted, I should... The player should be punished for doing that, you know, for trying to hit an enemy too much and he's blocking and eventually, you know, they can finally counter or, or parry you. I think that's fair because, well, when I think of a game, you can blame Bloodborne and Dark Souls for this. Anyway, Atlas Quake, level 3, increased damage, destructive earth, L2, tap circle. Alright, but when I think of games nowadays, like hack and slash games, I think the overall challenge needs to come from the AI. The AI needs to be smart. You need to let the AI be smart and kick the player's ass. Well, I mean, you don't have to make your game, like, basically just Dark Souls-esque or anything like that. No, I'm getting real tired of seeing them, too, by the way. I mean, I don't mind the Souls games, and I don't mind that we're getting, you know, Souls-esque games, even though the Souls franchise is technically going to be parting away for a while from what I've been hearing rumors of. It's just... 
it gets old if you keep seeing the same stuff. And it's kind of like the same thing with shooter games nowadays. Army shooters especially. It's like, please, stop making them. They're boring as fuck. The campaigns are shit. You can't make an army shooter fun. I, I'm, well, you probably could. I will take my, I'll take that back. You, there's a possibility that you could do that. I'm not targeting Call of Duty. I'm not targeting Battlefield necessarily or Metal Wander in any sense. I'm just saying that from all the army shooter games I've played so far, besides like, you know, the toy soldier one, it just, it seems so barren, you know? I mean, well, there was a Spec Ops The Line, which actually was pretty good. I'm talking about, like, first-person army shooters. And I know I did say I'm not targeting those specific three games necessarily, but I guess in this sense I'm going to have to because those are the only three technically out there that tend to be so damn bland and boring campaign-wise. Because I was playing Battle for the Day, Battle for 4 today on the campaign. Man, I was like, bored as fuck. Multiplayer is good. I will always... You know, say Battlefield's multiplayer is not too bad. Yeah, they do charge you some, well, interesting amounts of money with DLC. But, you know, that's that's a personal take on that. I just don't feel like that DLC is all that worth it. I mean, yeah, there's Premium Edition or whatever that kind of grants you access to all the DLC. Or at least I believe it should. If I'm not mistaken, of course, which I've been mistaken before plenty of times in my life, so I will not, you know, try to lie about that. Alright, what the fuck? Really? You fucking douchebag? Alright, that's it. You're going down, you little son of a bitch. Hopefully, um, hopefully these videos are not desyncing in sound quality, because that would really, really piss me off right about now. I'm not going to go through this whole game again. I like this game. I'm not going to go through it again just because the game's like, whoa, or oh God, I was like, whoa, I decided to desync everything because I'm an asshole. Just like those episodes of Bloodborne. It's like every session of Bloodborne almost has something wrong with it. When me and uh, the Spadazzle crew do like episodes, the first three episodes, you could hear my computer in the background. It was really annoying. The second session eh, went fine. The third session recently had a desync problem. Because, well, you know, we tried to... I stopped the recording and I, stopped, I started it again. This time, you know, I let the videos process like I usually do. So hopefully, and I'm pretty certain, nothing should have went wrong. But, that is possible as well. Alright, so we're going to go ahead, hit that hand, lift that up. And her other hand should go ahead and lift up real quick. You have to hit him, of course. I'm going to open that. And I'm going to save it before I do anything stupid. Well, I mean, there's going to be, you know, plenty of safe spots later, of course. By plenty, I mean like one or two, I believe. I think there's one that comes up later. Hopefully, I won't have to stop the video anytime soon. If I do, I'll just do what I did with the Kraken fight, where I'll just stop it midway and we'll go from there. Alright. Yeah, there's her cooch. She is one tall bitch. This is the Loom Chamber. I think her name is Lakitsis, but I might be wrong. And I need to, like, go do some research on that. Unless somebody else wants to do research on that and find out for yourselves, personally. But I'm not really too particularly super interested, either. As you can tell, she's got some weird, nasty-looking, like, fur going on or something over here. I, Whatever the hell it is, it's something. All right. So that opens up that. Only problem is it's going to fall down extremely quickly. So I need to like remind myself of what I need to do. Uh, how do you get up there again? Though? That's my question. I don't particularly remember. All right. Well, yeah, her hands suck ass. She'll just keep constantly basically attacking you until. Uh, yeah, we need to take out. Well, I knew it. Well, I knew I needed to take out the dead bodies so I can get up on that rope there. I just didn't know if I needed to start on that side or what. Well, we triggered that cutscene for it, so... Alright. That should be the end of that arm for a second or two. It should give us plenty of time to go ahead and pull this. Oh, there we go. It actually stayed up. Okay, well, maybe it, maybe it will stay up. I don't know. Make sure you knock down the arm before you go up there, because if you don't knock down the arm, she will grab you. Try to make a nice little leap a faith right there. Grab the health chest because even if you don't think you need it, 
Just grab it for the extra bit of health. You want to climb this way? I think if she does grab you up here, uh, Kratos will eventually do like some kind of quick time event thing, and you can just like get yourself back up onto the platform. As so, that's exactly what I was talking about just for a minute there. Did the frame rate change or take? No, nothing really changed. I don't think so. So that knocks down that arm. Yes, the arm right now is pretty much numb. Or it's dead or something for a second or two. We're going to go ahead and pull this. And now we have access to the rope. Of course, we do have full magic, but we don't have full rage. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab rage. Yeah, I'll just grab rage of the titans because, you know... It, it would be more beneficial just to have full rage bar. Just in case. I don't... Having to build all the way up to a full rage bar would suck ass, so why put up with it? Alright. Yeah, she has more than two boobs. Like, I mean, this is practically disgusting, pretty much. And... Now that I'm looking at it, I wonder if those little pores in her body are probably nipples. Ooh, why does she have so many tits? I... I don't know. I don't know why Greek mythology is so obsessed with people having thousands of tits. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, hey, if that's what they like, that's what they like. This part kind of sucks, by the way. And you guys will get to see why in a second. If you're getting a hard on from this, you might want to go check with your doctor because you might have some problems. No, I'm kidding. Okay, uh, what does this lever do? If I'm correct, I think that lever actually opens that up. Yeah, there we go. It opens up that little gateway there. Uh, go ahead and jump down here real quick before we fuck anything up. She can't hit you down here, thankfully. She shouldn't be- well, I jumped up that time, that was my fault. Yes, you can block her arm swipes. Go ahead and knock her arm down. Her arm's gonna fall into there. And then you're gonna pull this lever and latch your hand right there. So that takes care of one hand. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, what does this lever do again? Oh, that's right, I think this one's the one that, um... Ooh, what did it do? I didn't see it, actually. Probably because I didn't grab it correctly. Does it pull down the little spike thing there? Yes, it should. There we go. Okay, that takes out another hand. The reason why we're pinning her hands down on the ground right now is just so that we can kind of get this little thing moving along here. There's going to be some there's going to be like this little ash thing we need to we need to go grab real quick. Okay, so let's we have to pull this. We have to push it all the way to that little um that little ash thing we did before. Actually, I think we have to pull it all the way around, apparently. You see that little blue light right there on the side? Well, whenever you pass it, it's pretty much a checkpoint, pretty much. So, whenever you pass that, that's technically a checkpoint. For this little lever thing we have to pull here. That's pretty much what it is. Motherfucker. Really? Really? Really right now? Oh, that one's broken. I'm being an idiot, then. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. Oh, uh, ooh, fuck. I might have fucked up a little bit. Well, hopefully there's gonna be a l There is. Okay. I was gonna say, like, hopefully there is one. Alright. Dumb bitch. I think we can just go ahead and just wrap our... No, I think she can still swipe you, though, even though you come through here. No, I'm... I'm wrong. Alright. No, I know what we're supposed to do. Okay, I got you now. Put that there. Step on the button. That's gonna grab that. And now, that's going to attach this little spike to this little crank thing right here. And now we need to get that put back over near her arm. So, we're going to smash her hand right into it. It probably hurts like, probably hurts like hell. But I mean, she's got plenty of boobs and she probably have, well, she's got plenty of arms. So it's really no worry about that. Yeah, we should have smashed her hand before we did anything. I should have been smart with that one. Uh, I don't think there is a... No, it... Oh! That's right. Oh! That's how you do it again. I forgot. I'm an idiot. Well, thankfully, they made it obvious that you should hit her hands first. So, that's that's some pretty damn good uh, game design right there. When, you know, they, they let you figure it out for yourself, but... There's a point where they make it kind of easy. I just now realized she has hair. Holy fucking shit. I've played this game for how long and I just now noticed this? Alright. So Fat Tit McGee basically is obviously what she is. She's a big fat tit ugly bitch is what she is. And I'm trying to remember what I'm supposed to do. What what does this do again? Okay, that's stuck on that's stuck up there. 
So we obviously need to have her... Well, what you could do is do this. You could slow down time real quick. And you can climb up here. We can go ahead and start knocking these assholes off. Yeah, it it's weird how that works, but it works. It, it It's fine with me. I don't care how it works. Just make it work, damn it. That's all I want in my games. Alright, again, you know, just knock out her hands and she should be pretty damn easy to take down. Alright. There we go. That takes care of that. We're gonna go ahead and grab this. We're gonna try to move it... Uh... I'm trying to remember exactly where we're supposed to move it at. Um, yeah, I don't exactly remember the the correct spot to move it. Okay, I'm trying to remember if I have to hit her in the head. We'll have to hit both arms. Alright, there we go. Yeah, you're going to get quite a bit of magic and quite a bit of health. Oh, this raises this up. That's right, I see it now. So we need to raise up that chain thing there. But of course, I'm having difficulty taking out both of her hands. Alright, well, that's one. That takes care of that one. Okay, you want to go... You want to put the lever right onto the chain here. So that's going to get that one back up. And now we have to get the other one, I believe. Or I think this might be the only one we need to worry about, technically. What does that lever do? Nothing at all. I don't think this one does anything at all, to be honest with you folks. Uh, we're going to go slow down time real quick. Just so, you know, her stupid ass arms doesn't wake up. Can I just please, Kratos? Thank you. Oh, crap. We might not have to... Oh, we made it just in time. Sweet. Alright, so now, once again, knock both her arms down. I know it sucks, but you gotta do it. It's it's the way the game developers have programmed the game to be, so... You gotta do it, folks. You just gotta do it. Pull it back. She can't feel her arms. Which, honestly, that, that must be the worst way to go. You know, you, you there's no way you can defend yourself, pretty much. With your arms hurting like that. And you pretty much get fucked. Practically. <laughs> Alright. And then, I'm gonna stab her right in the head. And that should be the end of... What's her name? Uh, Big Tit McGee. Thousand Tit McGee. Big Oompas. I don't fucking... I don't have any more names for her. Uh... It's just... It's disgusting to even think about. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna get enough... We're not gonna get enough orbs to upgrade with anything. You know, I usually think of God of War 3 as being the one where you can't get everything in one go. But, from what it looks like right now, God of War 2 kind of does the same thing too. Huh. Now, you can get all the collectibles in one go. Well, you're gonna have- well, you don't have to, but... All the ones you can get in the campaign, you can get in one go. Yes. Yeah, one playthrough. But if you want to get the other two urns, you need to, um... Yeah, you need to do all that other stuff. So, fun fun. Okay. So we're going to raise that up, and basically now, well, I'm going to save it just in case. I don't want to fucking thing up. We need to go down there, and we need to change the time period on the, on the little window thing right here. Because we can't jump inside that yet. We have to go back down there, pull those strings, and do all that stuff. But I will do that in the next episode, which should probably be close to the final part. And again, I'll, I'll, have, a, I'll have a bonus episode. I'll upgrade all the stuff. So don't worry about that. I'll, I'll, I'll play through another playthrough and upgrade everything, including the Blade of Olympus. I may or may not get the other two urns. Just because they're done in challenge mode, I don't want to fucking deal with them. I probably won't show them off either because it's pointless. You guys can figure that stuff out for yourself. Anyway, folks, without further ado, I hope you all enjoyed it. We'll see you all next time when we play some more God of War 2. And as always, take care, everybody.